Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about turkeys. We raised a bunch of turkeys this year, and we're also gonna show you our Thanksgiving day cooking our turkey. The biggest chicken we've ever raised was 7.1 pounds. These are chicken cones, and these are not gonna hold a turkey. This is a tiny quail cone, and this is not gonna hold the turkey. Today's the day, it's been 20 weeks since we first got our first turkeys ever and we've been raising them on grass, raising them on pasture. Our first turkeys, guys, look at that. First time raising turkeys. We did lose seven of them in the beginning, and we raised them in the chicken netting, and, but they're, uh, they're heritage breed. They would fly out, they would even jump out because they were just so big. And today is turkey processing day. Along with our meat chickens and all of our egg layers, these turkeys are also from McMurray Hatchery. It seems like after they were out of the brooder, which was about three or four weeks, they didn't seem as delicate. I mean, they didn't lose any. One to a predator, which I believe a coyote. So I just hope that these six will make it. I at least want to have one, guys. What? I want to have one of you for Thanksgiving. It's already 37 degrees in here. That's gonna drop the temps in here to about 31 is the max as it drops. The best investment for your homestead is a portable fridge. I rent this out, I can move it, I can haul it up to the house if I wanted to. The downside though on this is that it is small. I can't stand up in it. Uh, we've done pigs in here, not hang them, we just laid them down. But if I can hang some beef and just quarter them. What about a bucket? I can maybe use a bucket, but it doesn't seem like it's tall enough for a turkey. They do sell big turkey cones, but you're talking about $80 for a tur turkey cone. So I didn't feel like spending $80, so I thought, well, I could find something around here, right, and make my own. This is a scalder we use for a chicken. Uh, 15 inches tall, 14 inches wide. Even though this is a turkey fryer, I don't think it's gonna fit a turkey. I think a turkey fryer was meant for a turkey that has no feathers. A big scalder is what we need and a big kill cone. I'm just checking all the stalls, see what I have here. These are plastic sheets. These are the sheets that I used to build my latest chicken coop. We have plans available on our website. And these are just leftover scrap pieces. Maybe I could use one of these. This is called a roto tape. It's for making circles. And then a pencil on this end. You just go around like a compass. Everything is an art project here. Cut that off. Leatherman knife. I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, it's a cone. All right, it looks big. Well, there's only one way to find out. That's a big pig fryer. I welded up this burner last year and we used it to scald our pig on to heat up a 55 gallon barrel. It's still working, haven't used it in a year. We are getting a late start today. We only have maybe a few hours before it gets dark. So we're trying to get and butcher six turkeys, put them in this, this cooler here before dark. It's not the summertime, so we don't need that many, that much ice, only two of these bags. Take these ones off.
<laughs> yeah. What do you think? Oh man, that looks like a novelty size kill cone. I'm gonna use this wire and we're gonna try to tie up their feet so they won't flop around. You could do this with chickens also. Just put a screw right on the top here and then just get this, just some like wire from my chicken wire rolls. You can use any wire and tie it to that. So I'm gonna put a splash of vinegar in both of these and they'll just have a vinegar bath. I mean, it's a little bit. What I love about raising my own turkeys, and actually my meat chickens also, and everything that we grow here on our farm, is that we raise them on organic feed. You might see pasture raised at the store or at the farmer's market, but 99% of the time, it's not organic. Chicken cone, quail cone, turkey cone. This is pretty much how you would scald a pig. Let's check it. It's been 30 minutes so far. How long does it take to heat up this barrel? We're at 120. I'm gonna start with the little one first. I really wanna test out that, that cone I made. We really only have one big one, one big male. Come on. These guys are tough, tough, tough. They are, um, they're, he they're huge, first of all, and they're, they're very strong. I mean, look at their claws. I would suggest if you're doing turkeys to wear some kind of eye protection. And sometimes, depending on how big the turkey is or how strong you are, you might need two people for this. I'm gonna wrap this. I think I need longer wire to wrap his feet. We're at about 150 here. Let's see how this works. You dunk them just like the chickens. You dunk them, swish them around. It might be a little bit tougher because these are heritage breeds. Check them. I'm gonna step back. <laughs> I don't know. You got mostly off. That's not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Some dark feathers. I wanna, when I go check on the chicken inside, I'm gonna bring the scale down. I <laughs> wanna weigh them. That's pretty common there. Alright. That's one turkey. Thanksgiving. I made the twine longer. Uh, so that we could tie up the feet, so that way it'd be helpful, so this bird won't pop out of here. But you know, so far this cone is working. Actually, I'm surprised. The first one's done. Look at that. Ready. That was a small, small turkey, right? Yeah, this is a small one. That's good. How are they compared to a chicken? Large, just larger. Same, same anatomy, except larger. And would you say they're easier to eviscerate because they're they are larger? They are. Yeah, you can get your hand in them better. On butcher day, if you if you feel like some kind of wet on your lip, don't don't lick it off. Don't touch it. I don't have wet on my lips. Do you? These guys have not been digesting their food. Okay, look at look at this giant pile of grass. Oh my god. Jason, you gotta see this. This is the crop. Oh man. It is like compacted. It's like bigger than the turkey's breast. What we didn't do is is feed them grit. I don't know why we just, just didn't do it. Well but they lived in multiple places. Yeah. Like over there and it was the kinda hard. has grit or has sand. Oh my gosh. Ooh, can I? Wow. It's like a big pillow. This yeah. looks just a big ball of grass. Yeah, so we're just gonna cut it out this way. So go ahead and cut it off. Right here? Yeah. It's a crop. It's like their holding pen before it reaches the gizzard. Wow, look at all that grass. Oh my gosh. Could we feed it to the cows? 
Wow. This one has the same too. The other one had the same too. They're like giant blades of grass. They're not even chopped up. Gotta get a move on here. I thought we were having next sausage. I she know. saved a little bit. She saved two. I saved two of them, but my nose is running. I have a chicken in the oven that's probably done. <laughs> Last one, the big boy, Tom Turkey, our Thanksgiving meal. Thank you, Tom. Man, this is a heavy, heavy bird. Ah, there you go. So I think this idea of this 55 gallon barrel scalder is, it worked. This works. What helped is that big burner that I made to regulate the temp. Now, now let's see if, let's see if our, plucker can handle it. Turkeys are definitely messier on butcher day than chickens. Chickens is actually kind of neat and nice. Turkeys, just, they just like bigger. Look at this thick feather. This right here. There's a bunch of these. Oh, the side. Yeah, it stopped this plucker. Maybe, maybe it could have plucked it by hand, some by hand before I put them in here. Also, you could skin them and bypass the whole plucking altogether. It'd probably be a little bit easier, maybe, I don't know. But we like the skin on. I feel like the skin is the most flavor, flavorful part. We just about made it before dark, but we're trying to get this one done, at least in the cooler. But it's getting colder too. Lorraine's hands are frozen. Yeah, <laughs> my hands are wet and frozen. I had the scalder, so my hands are okay. A big, heavy bird. Look at that big turkey right there. Good job. There we go. All right, we did it. We did it. Good job. <laughs> yeah. There they are, six turkeys. Yeah. Whew. We did it before sunset. <laughs> Actually, I think the sun is like set, <laughs> but before dark. All right, let's clean this up. It's been three days and now we need to bag up the turkeys. So is it worth it raising turkeys? I will answer that question at the end of the video after Thanksgiving, after we cook the turkey and after we eat it. These are gonna be big birds, so that means, you know, the, the amount of water you put in there, it doesn't need to be all the way to the top because all that water's gonna come up once you put that bird in. We usually wait 48 hours when we do our chickens, but for whatever reason, this is when we could get to it. We're waiting three days to put our turkeys in the freezer. Today we're doing quality control, much like how we do our chickens, but turkey quality control. And then we're gonna bag them and weigh them. We're taking out all these little tiny feathers. We're checking for lungs. We did this really quick because the day we butchered these guys, it was so cold. <laughs> Look at these, these are big turkey bags. These are heat shrink bags. Ooh, I have plenty of room. Then you zip tie it, stick the straw in, zip tie. Don't drop it. I don't know. Is it coming out? Maybe you twisted it too high. I think the turkey's taller than the than this. I pot. think it's doing. It's doing it. You got it. It's doing it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's done. All right. Oh, well, good. Take it out. That looks good. Take out the straw. And then you Did you tie zip it. it too tight? Oh, my hands are frozen again. You think these ones have a lot of fat on them at all? Do you see that? Uh, they have, they, I don't know, I've never raised turkey before, so they have fat. There is fat here. This one's not as big. This, this one seems like shorter, not as tall. Beautiful baby boy. This one's ready to go? That one's ready. This one looks like a giant Cornish cross chicken. It's not that big. Six chickens, it took us four and a half months, 120 days to raise. 10 pounds. 10 pounds. Oh, that's not bad. 
Another eight pounder. Eight pounds. We only had one tom turkey, which I'm kind of sad about. I wish we had at least two, but most of these were just females. 10 pounds, eight, 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 10 pounds, 15 pounds. These are heritage turkeys, so they don't look like turkeys from the grocery store. And actually, I think this is what a real turkey should look like. And I'm pretty sure it's not gonna taste like a grocery store either. But we're gonna cook it and we're gonna find out. And today is Thanksgiving, guys, so happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving. I'm cooking this turkey in our oven roaster so that way it'll free up my oven for other things such as baking dinner rolls and... Is it gonna fit in here? It barely fits. <laughs> because he's really long. Softened butter and it's flavored with minced garlic, salt, pepper, and then I'm going to put it underneath the skin here at the breast. I'm really excited to cook this turkey. Are you excited for Turkey Day, Penelope? Yeah. Are you excited for Turkey Day? I am. This is my favorite holiday. Okay, so all of this is going inside the bird. I'm gonna do a sage. Oh, I've got thyme too. I have to put the thyme in there. There we go. Okay, plenty of room. This part has a lot of fat here. Ding this heavy guy into the oven roaster. So huge. <laughs> Turkey in the oven roaster, it's gonna take about four hours. Let's Can't forget to add the bacon. We're <laughs> adding bacon. We're gonna make this super tender. Wow, good news guys. The turkey is done early. How long did that take? <laughs> Three hours and 15 minutes instead of four hours like we calculated. Um, but it's okay because we need resting time too. That's important before you carve the bird as you want it to rest. There's the bacon. What are you gonna do with the bacon? Um, I'm gonna put it, I'm supposed to make a kale salad. <laughs> um, a kale fall salad. So it's kale, apples, dried cranberries. There we go. That's what that's for. Wasn't that easy. Take this off. Manhandle it. <laughs> it's so fall apart. And it's really, it's really juicy. It's not at all. Look at these legs. Oh, that's wow. amazing. Wow. That looks good, huh? Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? It's gonna be just us this year. It's just kind of quiet year. Last year, we cooked a half a hog from one of our pigs, and we had a big event with a bunch of friends and then uh this year you know we raised our own turkey and it's just gonna be like a quiet year salad with bacon but what are these uh boiled, boiled potatoes. potatoes boiled potatoes what else is this Penelope? let's try that dark stuffing meat. stuffing with homemade einkorn bread and then sweet potato casserole and then these are bread rolls but they're like pull apart bread rolls so that's their einkorn bread we've got cranberry sauce we have gravy Let's try it out. The moment of truth. It's really tender. Let's try it again. So what do you think? You think we'll do turkeys again? Yes. Did definitely. you enjoy it, Penelope? Yeah. Yes, I think it's definitely worth it. We'll definitely do turkeys again. This is worth it right here. All the four and a half months of raising them and all the moving them and feeding them. But this is all makes it all worth it. All right, we are so full. <laughs> we are so full. We still have pumpkin pie and apple pie to go, but we need to do some chores, our nighttime chores. And so we have pumpkins. We have Thanksgiving for our animals. We're coming, Zeke. <laughs> we need to get a gate. I know. Yes, I know. <laughs> We're kind of tired of, of going through this fence line. Don't get me wrong, we are super grateful. But we would need a gate, right? Happy Thanksgiving, piggies. They're kind of big to be called piggies. I think they're just pigs. Set it down. Ooh, just toss it. Hey, just toss it. Hey, pigs. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Tearing it up. 
Here, just get away from the fence. Come on, we gave you guys two. We also have a bucket for the three little pigs over here. Our pigs are getting big now. These pigs, these pigs are getting big. I'm seeing it. Hey, piggies. Hey, pigs. I'm wondering if they're too little for these pumpkins here. They're like whole pumpkins. I don't think they're too sure what to do with it. Pumpkin seeds are a natural dewormer. They won't eat the kale. <laughs> Nobody wants to eat the kale. Oh, 